Go ahead. Rick, 900, we heard that your team poured water on you in the locker room after the game. What was that moment like? Yeah, I wouldn't call it pouring. It just came from every direction. <laughs> you can tell my hair's a little out of place, right, from that. Um, no, nah, it's just really grateful for our team, um, for ownership, you know, a lot of great players over the years. Um, told Pop after the game, you know, I'm very grateful for him. He was a mentor to me before I got a head coaching job. And uh, when I was here as an assistant, I, I didn't get the job after Larry left. And uh, Pop called me up and, and um, invited me to come down to San Antonio's training camp for, he said, come down and watch the practices, travel with us, you know, Tell me what you think, you know, and it was just, it was a, it was a big confidence builder for me. And uh, he's been, he's been wonderful to so many uh, young coaches. I'm not so young now, but um, so I really appreciate him. And uh, so, you know, it's been a, it's been a good run and, and got to move on to tomorrow. 152 ties the NBA franchise record for points for this franchise. What what did you see click so well for this team on offense? So high. I, I, you know, I, the thing with records, I mean, they're going to, uh, around the league, they're just going to continue to be broken so frequently. It's just, uh, it, you know, I remember three or four years ago in Dallas, we had the all-time points per possession record at 1.16, and it was shattered the next year. It was like 1.18 or 1.19 or something. So, and the game is evolving. The skill is evolving. The speed is beyond real. Um, you see guys like Victor out there, you know. I mean, this is the next generation big man that can do everything. And so pretty breathtaking to see what he's capable of out there. But, uh, look, we played well. Uh, we took advantage of the fact that they played, yes, played, played an overtime game yesterday. Um, you know, the, se the second quarter got a little ratty. You know, um, as a coach, you got to nitpick that stuff. But you know, the rest of it was, you know, we did a we did a we did a good job. And so, this is a really unique stretch for this part of the season: five games, seven nights at home. So um, we got to get the right amount of prep work, right amount of rest, right amount of strengthening all that kind of stuff and, and brace for these next two. You mentioned Victor. What did you think of the way Obi defended him all night and the effort he gave on that end? Obi's, Obi's gotten better. He's improved defensively. He's improved as a rebounder. Uh, I like the way he plays offensively. He's a ball mover. He's an energy giver. Um, and, you know, he, he did a good job of running. Uh, making it making it hard on Victor, you know, going that direction, and then, you know, good job staying in front. I mean, he had a couple fouls, but I mean, it's hard not to foul this guy. I mean, he's just, you know, he's just so, he's just so there. He's, just, you know, and is yeah, you think you're, you think you're like this, and then his arm is going like this, you know, and and he's look like looking down into the basket. So, um, he did it. He did a nice job. To continue the theme of def defense on Victor, I mean, you guys went a little bit smaller on him with Obi, with Aaron, you know, to go with guys that were going to be maybe a, a, didn't have the hype but had the, were willing to be physical with him. Was that kind of the plan was just to get guys that you knew were going to, you know, again, play as physical and bring a lot of energy there as, as knowing the hype wasn't going to be there or can't be there with a guy like Look, that? We just want to keep force in the game on him, um, you know, both vertical force with, with running as well as, you know, uh, as much – as much horizontal force just, you know, to not allow his center of gravity to get by us. He gets by us. He's just going to, you know, put his whole arm in the rim, you know, on a dunk. It's just, I haven't, I haven't seen anything like it. No, no one has. Um, so, you know, he's a, you know, he's an amazing young player. And he's a, he is a great player right now. To go back to Obi, how are you seeing, guys get a better sense of where he's going to be, where, where his opportunities are. It seems like he's already forward tonight. You know, I, I, just, I just love the vibe that he has every day. He's authentically grateful to be a teammate on this team. 
he's grateful to play with Tyrese. He, he loves Indiana. Um, he doesn't force things. You never, you never see him burp up a, a lousy shot. I mean, he just, he plays within the team. Um, so, I mean, he's just, this, this is the kind of message that, you know, we want to send to each other um, as we're playing that, you know, um, that we're all completely selfless and we're out there trying to do one thing. And that is, you know, be successful together. 14 to 22 from three in the first half after the really good third quarter you guys had on Saturday night. What, what, what works so well when this team shoots well? What is it that leads to the kind of, well, uh, blow, you know, blow you know th we're better defensively tonight. Um, and, uh, you know, when we when we were able to run and put put pressure on the rim, running, you know, threes open up for for our shooters, and we have a lot of guys that can shoot. You know, so um, but unless you have stops and 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 force into the paint, you're not going to get the kind of threes you want. And so we got to we got to stay stay disciplined there as much as we can because. It's very easy to come down and just shoot dribble up threes, you know, non-paint touch dribble up threes. And, you know, th those are the ones that get you into the real dangerous windshield wiper games where you're not putting enough pressure on the opponent's defense. I believe Mike is 152, the Pacers NBA franchise record. Ties it right. Did is that why everybody was booing at the end? Oh, you didn't know? Yeah. I figured there was something going on like that. Is that was that a, was that your decision to have TJ pull it out, or is that just something TJ does as a veteran? Why didn't you guys go for a bucket there? There's no, there's no real point to it in my mind. I mean, you know, why? <laughs> it's really a meaningless record in t in today's world of the NBA. It's it's going to be broken at some point. Um, you know, we had a huge lead. You know, why pile on? I just don't see the point. So um, I thought it was classy on TJ's part. You know, I, I didn't need to tell him to do that. He just did it on his own.